Hi. I'm Eric, an automotive technician with 15 years of experience. This video is going to explain the meaning of this error code, and show you how to diagnose and fix it. OBD2 code P0308 means that the engine's computer has detected a misfire in the number 8 cylinder, indicating an incomplete combustion process. When you encounter this OBD error, the vehicle typically exhibits the following symptoms. 1. Check engine light flashing. 2. Rough running, hesitation, and or jerking when accelerating. 3. No adverse conditions are noticed by the driver in most cases. 4. Performance problems such as dying at stop signs, rough idling, hesitation, misfires, lack of power, and decrease in fuel economy in some cases. Now we talk about possible causes, and how to diagnose and fix. Worn out spark plugs, ignition wires, coils, distributor cap and rotor, when applicable. Inspect all ignition system components for wear and heat damage. The spark plug terminals should have a sandy color and not be blackened with soot, white from an overheating combustion chamber, or greenish from coolant. Check the firing voltages, distributor cap, and rotor for wear, signs of arcing, and or corrosion. Carefully inspect all of the ignition system components for wear and heat damage. The spark plug terminals should have a sandy color and not be blackened with soot, white from an overheating combustion chamber, or greenish from coolant. Inspect ignition cables, coils, distributor cap, and rotor for any signs of arcing, corrosion, or wear. If necessary, replace these components. Incorrect ignition timing. Verify that the ignition timing is within spec. If the engine has a distributor, check that it is properly adjusted. If the engine uses individual coils, ensure that the computer-controlled timing is correct. Adjust the ignition timing to ensure it is within spec. If the ignition timing is not adjustable, then further diagnosis may be required to identify the cause of the incorrect timing. Vacuum leaks. Check for vacuum leaks using a smoke machine or by spraying a flammable substance around suspected vacuum leak areas while the engine is running. Listen for changes in engine idle speed or roughness. Locate and repair any vacuum leaks. This may involve replacing gaskets, hoses, or other components that are causing the vacuum leak. Low or weak fuel pressure. Test the fuel pressure using a fuel pressure gauge to ensure it is within the manufacturer's specified range. Also, check the fuel filter for any clogs or restrictions. If the fuel pressure is low, diagnose and repair the issue causing the low pressure, which may involve replacing the fuel pump or fuel filter. Improperly functioning EGR system. Inspect the EGR valve and associated components for proper operation. Check for carbon buildup, restricted passages, or electrical issues. Clean or replace the EGR valve and associated components as needed to restore proper function. Defective mass air flow sensor. Test the mass air flow sensor using a multimeter or scan tool to check for proper voltage and signal output. Also, Inspect for any dirt or debris that may be affecting its operation. Clean or replace the mass air flow sensor as needed to restore proper operation. Defective crankshaft and or camshaft sensor. Test the crankshaft and camshaft sensor using a multimeter or scan tool to check for proper voltage and signal output. Also, check for any physical damage to the sensors or wiring. Replace the defective crankshaft and or camshaft sensor to restore proper engine timing and operation. Defective throttle position sensor. Test the throttle position sensor using a multimeter or scan tool to check for proper voltage and signal output. Also, inspect for any physical damage to the sensor or wiring. Replace the defective throttle position sensor to ensure accurate throttle position readings. Mechanical engine problems, i.e., low compression, leaking head gaskets, or valve problems. Perform a compression test to check for consistent compression readings across all cylinders. Also, inspect for any signs of leaking head gaskets, damaged valves, or other mechanical issues. Repair any mechanical engine problems by replacing damaged components such as head gaskets, valves, or addressing low compression issues. If there are uncertainties, feel free to engage in discussions by leaving a comment. 
Alternatively, when facing difficulties, it is advisable to seek assistance from a professional auto repair shop and technicians. It is not recommended to handle it independently, especially when uncertain. Thanks for watching.